So why it is called simple interest? Simple interest because its rate of interest is same every year. So rate of interest is given on some principal. What is called principal? Principal is the amount initially been taken from a bank or anybody or it's an amount which is to be landed for some interest to anybody. Next is so time is an period or certain amount of time the principal is given to any persons or an amount is landed from anybody on certain rate of interest. So rate of interest is always in percentage. The meaning of percentage of rate of interest is if anybody has given 100 rupees or taken from anyone 100 rupees in certain rate of interest means if it is 5% for the time of, time of 2 years 5% then the interest becomes 5 into 2 that is 10 that is 10 percent and 10 percent on 100 rupees means 10 rupees so after all we have to pay to the lender and amount 100 plus 10 that is 100 110 this is called amount so amount consists the principal plus interest. interest interest is of two types that is simple interest another is compound interest today we will discuss about simple interest only the compound interest chapter will be later on we'll discuss some another day let us take another examples if anybody has invested six thousand rupees at the rate of interest of five percent then what will be the interest after two years so here the rate of interest is five percent here the rate of interest is five percent and the time given is two years so the interest will become ten percent ten percent interest will become ten percent and for six thousand it will become six hundred rupees so likewise we can calculate the amount of interest so he will have to return not only 600 but also the principal that is 6000 the total amount he will have to return or he will if he has invested in bank then he will get 6000 plus 600 that is 6600 is total amount this is the amount so from here we have understand that the principal is principal is 100% and total interest becomes rate of interest into time so let us move to another slide so now we will discuss about the formulas of simple interest the formula of simple interest is principal into rate of interest into time divided by 100 from here we can calculate the principal also then the principal will become simple interest into 100 divided by rate of interest multiplied by time this is simple interest and now rate of interest will become simple interest multiplied by 100 divided by principal into time and the and this will be in percentage next is time time will become the simple interest multiplied by 100 divided by principal into rate of interest and next is amount amount means principal plus interest now let us understand the chapter by solving some problems the principal is 15,000 15,000 rupees rate of interest is 12% per annum and the time is 3 years what is SI per annum rate of interest is 12% and the principal is 15,000 so the per annum he will get interest of 15 into 12 180 and 10 1800 rupees 800 
3 multiplied by 1800 that will become 5400 so friend, this type of problems can be solved without using pen and paper also this was the logical method and we can solve it by some formula also the interest formula is principal rate of interest multiplied by time divided by 100 the principal is 15000 the rate of interest is 12 Time is 3 years, 100, good, 15 into 12, 180, 0, 1080 into 3, that is 5400 rupees. So friend, this is the method to solve this type of problems. And let us move ahead. Now the principle is, 4000 the rate of interest is 15 percent per annum time is four years what will be the simple interest so here per annum the rate of interest is 15 percent the interest per annum will become 15 into 40 that will become 600 rupees per annum For the period of four year it will become four into six thousand that is twenty four hundred by formula basis you can solve also the interest is principal into rate of interest multiplied by time by hundred four thousand multiplied by rate of interest is fifteen and the time is Time is four years divided by hundred zero zero cancels fifteen four the six hundred into four that is same two thousand four hundred rupees. So friend, these are the method to solve this type of problems. Now let us move to some other questions also. And here they have asked the principal amount and given the rate of interest is 8% the time is 4 years the simple interest is 1520 rupees so here the every year rate of interest is 8% and the time given is 4 years then the total interest will become 8 multiplied by 4 that is 32% means the 32 percent amount is given as 1520 rupees so we know that the principal principal is 100 percent so 32 percent is given we have to calculate only 100 percent so from here we can write as 32 percent is equal to 1520 rupees so 100 percent it will become 1520 divided by 32 multiplied by 100 now we'll divide it by 8 it will become 4 and 8 19 8 is a 152 0 we'll divide 100 by 4 this will become 25 now 190 multiplied by multiplied by 25 25 0 0 25 9 0 225 5 remaining 22 25 1 0 25 and 22 it will become 47 so the principal is 4750 so we can take out the principal by formula basis also the formula principal is interest multiplied by 100 divided by rate into time the interest given is 1520 multiplied by 100 rate of interest is 8 into 4 the time is 4 years so this is the same we have calculated from here this will become 32 so the amount will be 
4750 rupees let us move to another questions so friend in this twisted type problem in this problem they have asked the principal the rate of interest is given and the time is given they have not given the interest they have given the amount so we know that the principal is 100 percent and rate of interest here is six percent per annum and for the period of four years so the interest will become six into four that is 24 percent so we know the formula of amount amount is principal plus interest so the principal here is 100 100 percent and interest is 24 percent 124 percent this is the amount and amount here is given 7440 rupees so we can say that the amount which is 124 percent the here amount is given as that is equal to 7440 rupees so we'll have to calculate the principal amount that is 100 percent so for 100 percent that will become 7440 divided by 124 multiplied by 100 so we'll divide it by 4 this will become 4 3 is a 1 and this will become 4 1 is a 4 remaining 34 8 4 is a 32 2 24 6 and 0 actually by 6 and 0 60 and now this is 60 into 100 and now this is 60 multiplied by 100 this is 6000 rupees so the principal amount is 6000 rupees in this question they have asked a man borrowed some money at the rate of interest 8 percent per year and lend it at the rate of interest 12 percent per year if he earned the profit of 3840 after four years find the principal the man is very clever so the clever man has borrowed some amount at the rate of eight percent per year from someone and lend it to another person at the rate of interest 12 percent per year and he takes 12 percent from the persons and get it back 8% to the lender so here he has made profit of 12 minus 8 that is 4% 4% per annum and he has taken for the period of 4 years 4 years so the total profit profit or interest he has taken becomes 4 into 4 16% here the total profit 16 percent is given as 3840 so we can say that 16 percent is equal to 3840 rupees we will have to calculate the principal the principal we know that the 100 percent amount is principal so we have to calculate the 100 percent amount and we have 16 percent that is equal to 3840 and for hundred percent it will become three thousand eight hundred forty divided by sixteen multiplied by hundred four this will become four we divide it by four nine four the thirty six two twenty four six and zero now we will divide again by four this will become four two is the eight one sixteen four four 240 so 240 multiplied by 100 this will become 240 double zero rupees so 24,000 is the principal so the principal amount is 24,000 rupees question they have asked find the simple interest on principal of rupees 1440 for three years at the rate of 8% per annum so friend for simple interest we know the formula of simple interest is principal multiplied by rate of interest multiplied by time divided by 
and read here the principal is given that is 1440 rate of interest and time that is 8 and 3 that is 24 divided by 100 and 0 and 0 cancel I will simplify it so finally you should know the table up to 30 but the problems of simplifications you can do very easily now 24 4 jar, 96 6 carrying 9 24 4 jar, 96 and 9 105 here 5 carrying 10 24 1 jar, 24 and 10 34 34 now here it is divided by 10 we will put decimal here that is in rupees so this is our interest now one thing more they would also ask the value of amount for so taking out the value of amount we know the formula of amount that is principal plus simple interest or interest the principal here is 1440 plus interest we have calculated 345.6 now 0 0.6055 4 and 4 8 4 and 3 7 1 that is in rupees so then from here we can directly take out the value of amount without taking out the value of simple interest we know the principal is 100% and here interest that is RT we have calculated 8 and 3 that is interest is 8 3 is a 24 percent so the amount is 124 percent so if we we'll put the value of 124 in place of 24 we can directly get the value of amount if we we'll put 1440 multiplied by 124 divided by 100 if we we'll solve it will also come 1785.6 rupees so when these are the method to take out the interest as well as the amount value now we'll solve some questions and we'll understand the chapter much better in the questions they have asked mr x took a loan of rupees 1200 with simple interest for as many years as the rate of interest if he paid rupees 432 as interest at the end of a loan period what was the rate of interest here in the questions they have given the rate of interest and the time is same let the rate of interest is rate of interest is a percent so the time will also be r year r years so we know the formula of simple interest that is principal multiplied by rate of interest and time divided by 100 so the principal is 1200 rate of interest we have assumed as r and time also r divided by 100 and here the value of rate of uh, interest is given 432 we will put 432 here now we will solve it 2020 20, cancel we will divide 12 here 12 3 is 36 remaining 7 7 to 72 12 6 is 72 here we will put r square that is equal to 36 so from here the value of r is 6 so here we can see the rate of interest is 6 percent so then quickly we will move to another questions in the questions they have asked the amount received of rupees 48,400 and the rate of interest is 3.5 for the time of 6 years then find the simple interest 
So filling in the questions, uh, rate of interest is given that is 3.5 and the time 6 years that is the interest. If we we'll simplify it will become 6 5 so 30 point remaining 3, 6 3 is 18 and 3, 21 percent that is in percentage, 21 percent that is interest and we know the principal is 100 percent so here amount will be principal plus interest that is 100 plus 21 that is 121 percent so if we will take out the value of 100 percent that will be our principal so here 121 percent is equal to that is amount they have given for uh, percentage is given 48,400 now we will take out 100% value and that is that is 48,400 divided by 121 and now we will multiply it by 100 if we will solve it it is going 4 times 400 now the value of 100 percent is for double zero and here also double zero that is 40,000 so here we can see the value of principal is we have calculated 40,000 40,000 rupees now we will take out the value of simple interest that is principal multiplied by rate of interest by time and uh, divided by 100 here principal is 40,000 rate of interest is rate of interest and time we have calculated here is 21 percent 21 divided by 100 if we will simplify 0 and 0 cancel 21 for the 84 to 0 in rupees this is simple interest so friend here we have given the value of 100 for taking out the principal if we will put directly the rate of in, uh, interest value then we can get the value of simple interest also now we'll put 21 in place of 100 now we'll put the value of 48400 divided by 121 and we'll put the value of interest that is 21 in place of 100 percent that is 4 times 400 21 for the 84 to 0 in rupees so 8400 is simple interest so friend if still you have not subscribed my channel please do subscribe and support my videos this ends for today thank you jai hind jai bharat